4.17 a.m. in the morning, I'm in the bathroom, and I've been crying a lot because I'm very overwhelmed with emotion because I'm moving in two hours and I'm leaving everybody in my life behind. And last night I filmed my first video of me crying ever, and I'm not really sure if I'm comfortable showing you guys the whole thing. It's like 15 minutes, so I think I'm gonna show you the 15 second condensed version. <laughs> feeling really emotional tonight. Home isn't my home anymore. I just said bye to my mom. I can't believe how much I love my family. <laughs> it's really difficult. Someone that you've been able to hug whenever you need to that you can't anymore. Oh, my nose is big. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. I just wanted to show you guys that teen pop idols cry too. It's not just idiot pieces of shit that watch YouTube videos. This is my room. I almost cleared everything out of it in 45 minutes. I have to wake my turtle up because I have to take her with me in the car. She is sleeping right now, so I can't talk too loud because turtles have really sensitive ears. I'm kidding. I can say whatever the fuck I want. I'm kidding. I have neighbors. I respect my neighbor Tom. He's got big tinkies. What's tinkies? Titties. And by the way, yes, I did say she when referring to my turtle. I found out my turtle is a girl the other day. My turtle has a beautiful vagina that smells like cauliflower. That's a vegetable. I don't eat those. I eat hamburger, hamburger, hamburger. I'm nervous. It's always scary leaving a place because you're scared you might forget something. But one thing you can never ain't forget is your freeze-dried mealworms. Hey, freeze-dried mealworms, it's me, weird painted wooden horse. Do you think I should get an abortion? Come on, Drew, don't joke about that. Turtle in the car, we got a turtle in the car. That's right guys, I am an American. And before you say your bullshit, just I'll have you know that ready sliders can stay out of the water for up to 24 hours. Fuck you. Also, I've been feeding him out of a water bottle. Also been giving him a little bit of mommy's teat. I am in the moving van right now and a lot of people have said to me, oh, you're moving, why don't you just rehome your turtle? And I'm like, oh, why don't I also just murder my fucking dad? No, I wouldn't do that because he's right here and I love him very much. Dad, I found out that my turtle is a girl the other day. How do you feel about that pussy? Just kidding, I changed my mind after I asked that. I don't want to hear you say that word. Dad, what's it like taking a road trip with the toe cold? Fun. Louder. Fun. It's loud fun, bitches. I know that my turtle hates me right now, but she is my sweetie baby, and I will forgive her for not understanding that I'm doing what's best for her in my life. Dad, one more road trip question, just a fun trivia time. Why did you divorce my mom? It made me very sad. You told me to. You turned to me and said, Dad, if you need to divorce mom, I'll understand. That's not true. That's something that your therapist told you to tell me. You're telling me. I looked at you and said, if you want to tear our family apart and make my sister and I cry every night, that'll be just dandy with me. I'm going to have to call my mom at the end of this video and get the other side of the story. I'm not really sure what's going tell, on. It seems her. that this divorce may have been premeditated. Do you think I'm going to be able to do this? Do you think that I'm mature enough and I'm ready to take my life on my own? I do think you're right. hundred percent be honest with me. I do think so. Thank you, Papa. I think they still love each other and I think they're getting back together. Yeah, my dad's remarried, but that doesn't mean my mom isn't awesome and I think he loves her still. What? Did you not hear that? I'm sorry, I was, I was watching the traffic. There's a lot going on up here. There's a lot going on down here in my heart. <laughs> Baby's home, guys. That's right. It's the next day. I did it, and it's done. And guess who else made it, guys? That's right. You guessed it. Freeze dried mealworms. Let's watch Sweetie Girl eat one, and then I'll eat one. Okay, ready? One, two. Oh, hey, ha, Ooh. Oh. Huh? It's some kind of note. Oh, cool ass. <laughs> well, thank you for appreciating my gigantic honker, freeze dried mealworms. And now that I've got this full body mirror, you can really appreciate what's going on down there. By the way, if there's anyone wondering, no, I still do not have my license, and you might be saying, Drew, that's kind of a bad idea to go into a city where someone say a vehicle is required and not show up with anything. And I would respond to that potential problem with the way that I respond to most potential problems by ignoring the fact and watching British murder mystery shows all night and eating a lot of pretzels, baby. I have been taking a lot of Uber and Lyft, though. If you don't know what that is, first of all, you're from another country, fuck you. Second of all, it's like where someone takes their car and they pick you up and you pay for it. It's like amateur taxis. Hot, busty, curvy amateur taxis fucking each other in the parking lot. It is weird, though, because you go on your phone, someone picks you up, and it's just like someone in their car. Like, it's just someone's dad. I had someone pick me up the other night at, like, 11 p.m. They showed up in a Subaru. That's like a family camping car. It's just some guy driving me down the freeway. It's, like, close to midnight. I'm kind of falling asleep in my lap. I feel like falling asleep on the freeway late at night in a car is something you should only do with your mom, right? It felt emotional. I felt a connection. It felt like one of my friend's dads in like high school was driving me home and for some reason they dropped my friend off first so I was just awkwardly in the car with their dad and they're like, hey, you got any Twitter followers? Anyway, I'm here. I moved in. I'm overwhelmed. I'm confused. It hasn't really sunk in yet that I have a new home. What do you guys do when you don't feel weird about the way that, you, the way that your body looks like? Leave me a fucking comment. I 
I almost forgot I have one thing left to do. Hey, hey mom. So I was talking to dad and he said the reason that he divorced you is because I told him it would be okay if he did. Really? You gave him permission essentially? Apparently. So I just wanted to call and apologize if that complicated things a little bit for you. <laughs> so you didn't know that? No, I didn't know that. Did you know that dad has his nipples pierced? <laughs> yes, I heard that. Okay, now I have to do something else too. Hey dad. Yes? Is it okay if I say that you have pierced nipples in a YouTube video? Yes. You're okay with that? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.